So we are at a position on this build where we need to get everything ready for the roofing tiler. The guy that comes along, belts it, puts the breathable membrane over the top, and then he puts his battens on which will support the tiles. Now, this is a valley roof. You can see my valley rafter running up here. Now what we always like to do is add some additional grounds. So that's some noggins through. And this enables the roofer to come through. And where he's got courses of battens, he hasn't got to try and spike them into the valley. He's got some nice grounds that go through. And although it looks like a pretty complicated job, it's one of those jobs that's actually quite straightforward. So I'll start by laying a length of timber up the valley. I'll mark them underneath, cut them off, and then fix them. But they can be quite awkward to hold so I've got a little device that I make, which makes it a little bit easier for putting them in. So if you take a section of timber that you're going to use, and let's tack that on. Now all I'm doing is I'm lining that up parallel over the top of my rafters, and I'm going to stick a tack in it so it doesn't slip or move around while I mark it. Just stip, stick a simple tack in that. And I can just stick another one in somewhere. And then it's just a matter of this is, it looks great when it's done, but it's super simple. All I'm doing then is marking the underside. I'll write number one on there. I might put an arrow to not just determine which way up it goes. Mark underneath. Mark underneath, there we go. And so there I've marked three noggins or grounds, I might just write number two on this one, pop an arrow in, and obviously three and an arrow. So there we go. We'll break them out and we'll fix them in. We'll cut them first. So what you've got on the reverse is obviously where we're cutting them. And the reason why I mark them all at once instead of cutting one and using the cut, it's just a lot quicker. If I cut this one and offered that one in, it's a bit more fiddly. I'm not wasting a lot of timber, so we'll just knock these out now. Put some ear protection on, get myself a decent saw, and we'll clamp this on. It's a lot easier to clamp this work on. Give yourself half a chance. And we'll start breaking them out. So there we have the first three. Now, you need a little simple device here to make it a little bit easier to fix. Because as you hold these between a pair of rafters, they're really awkward because you put a nail in and the other end's moving around. So you almost need to get them to sort of hold themselves. So you just need, in my case, I'm just keeping them 25 millimeters away from the edge of the valley, which is the same as our roofers batten. So we'll just take a couple of little pieces of that. Can be, don't have to be too long. And then we just need an off cut of timber, something like this. We... 
on back the other way for good measure. Now what we do with that is we sit it over the top to help us get these in. So let's get my number one. So all we're doing with this is we're just dropping it over the valley rafter. When I hold my timber in, it's, it's held, it's, it's helping me out basically. And that enables me to get a fixing in the top here. Let's tap that down flush, pop one in, and it enables me to then spike the bottom And I can move that off and it just makes it much more simple, quick and pretty perfect. So I'll just put another couple in for you. That's good. It's one of those little tricks that makes everything a little bit more straightforward, quicker, tidier, more accurate. All the things that we absolutely love. And then all we have to do is repeat the process right to the top and the jobs are good. Enough.